everything Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton have in common. As Prince Harry's fiancée, Meghan Markle is already seeing some major life changes. She discontinued her lifestyle blog, has retired her career as an actress and is relocating to the UK to live with her hubby-to-be. On top of all this, she's learning all the etiquette that comes with being a royal. Luckily, she's got her future sister-in-law to help her through her transition. Kate Middleton did tell People, William and I are absolutely thrilled, regarding Harry and Markle's engagement. She continued, it's such exciting news. It's a really happy time for any couple and we wish them all the best and hope they enjoy this happy moment. We're sure Middleton and Markle will grow closer than ever especially considering they actually have a lot in common. Their personalities, personal tastes, and even family backgrounds are shockingly quite similar. From their trendy outfits to how they represent the royal family, here are 15 things Markle and Middleton have in common. 1. Working with charities and organizations. We knew Markle was royal material from the start. Her philanthropic work speaks for itself, and reminds us of all the work we've seen Middleton put into charities and organizations. Markle has been appointed a global ambassador for World Vision and has worked with the One Young World charity. She said of her work, My life shifts from refugee camps to red carpets. I choose them both because these worlds can, in fact, coexist. When Middleton turned 30, she proved that she'd rather help others than receive gifts. According to Bustle, she chose four charities to support after doing extensive research, the Art Room, London's National Portrait Gallery, East Anglia's Children's Hospice, and Action on Addiction. 2. They are style twins. Markle and Middleton have proven to have a similar sense of style more than a few times. For instance, they both look killer in red in their similar medium-length dresses. Middleton wore the spring dress in September 2016 to a reception at the Government House in Victoria, Canada. Markle's dress is by Jill Jill Stewart, and she wore it to a July 2016 appearance on the Today Show, according to Harper's Bazaar. 3. They get sporty. Keep an eye out for competitive couples tennis matches between the two royal couples, because Middleton and Markle both come from sporty backgrounds. Middleton was a star athlete in high school, with experience in cross-country, tennis, field hockey, and swimming, according to Shape. Tennis is still her go-to sport, but she mixes in some skiing, too. Markle's area of athletic interest lies in yoga, as she was pretty much raised to be a yogi. Markle told Best Health Magazine Canada that her mother is a yoga instructor, and that she started doing mommy and me yoga with her when opening bracket she closing bracket was seven. Even though Markle doesn't run as much as she used to, she sticks to a generally active lifestyle. If I don't have time for a long workout, I'll grab my dog and go for a quick run, she said. Being active is my own moving meditation. 4. Their moms come from traveling backgrounds. Markle has been guided by her mother in more ways than one. She revealed to Allure in 2014, My mom was a travel agent, so off the beaten path travel has always been a big part of my life. Middleton's mother also had a travel-related career, working as an air hostess for British Airways. According to Hello! Magazine, it's where she met fellow steward and now husband Michael Middleton. 5. They are both modernizing royalty. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge aren't afraid to break, or at least bend, the royal rulebook when necessary. It's a trait passed down by Princess Diana, which has effectively aided the modernization of the royal family. For starters, William and Middleton married for love instead of gain, keep a pretty low profile, and are trying to give their children the most normal life possible. Harry and Markle are definitely following in their footsteps, considering Markle doesn't exactly fit the mold of women in the British royal family. She's American, biracial, an actress, and divorced, however, the Queen didn't hesitate to give her stamp of approval. According to CNN, high-profile members of the British royal family marrying who they want and not who they should has been a gradual process. 6. The rings have a connection to Princess Diana. 
When William proposed to Middleton with his mother's engagement ring, Diana's legacy was, in turn, passed down. The stunning 12-carat sapphire ring was a symbol of Diana's rebellion. She chose it herself out of the Garrard Jewelry Collection catalog, rather than having the ring custom made for her. After Diana's tragic death in 1997, the ring was kept in the family. However, it wasn't passed down to William it was given to Harry. Luckily, Harry described Middleton like a sister, and honored his brother with the ring for their engagement. The connection to Diana wasn't lost on the ring Harry had custom made for Markle. According to Fortune, the sender stone is from Botswana, a country where the couple has spent some time together. That diamond is flanked by two diamonds from Princess Diana's personal collection. 7. Living in Nottingham Cottage Nottingham Cottage has been announced as the location that Harry and Marco would move into together at Kensington Palace and it's giving us some major flashbacks. It's the same cottage William and Middleton moved into when they were first married before moving to Anmer Hall. According to Daily Mail, Harry and Markle might already be searching for a more permanent home. One of their ideal options is a country retreat, potentially in Norfolk, close to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's home Anmer Hall. 8. They both announced their engagements in November. November seems to be an important month for royal relationships. Markle was first referred to as Harry's girlfriend in November 2016 and announced their engagement one year later in November 2017. Back in 2010, November was also the month chosen to announce William and Kate's intent to wed. 9. They held a same-day press conference at St. James Palace. On the same day of both Markle and Middleton's engagement announcements, the royal couples held press conferences at St. James Palace. In each instance, they answered similar questions about details of the proposal. 10. They broke the internet with their outfits. In April 2016, Middleton participated in a charity cricket match while on a royal tour to India. She donned a colorful dress from Indian designer Anita Donger's summer 2016 collection, and it ended up catching the eye of a few too many. According to Mashable, Donger's website had crashed with frantic customers calling and emailing to get the very same dress. Unsurprisingly, the same thing happened when Markle stepped out for her engagement announcement in a now iconic white coat. Line the label's website crashed when too many of Markle's fans tried to buy the exact same coat from the company. 11. They both have acting experience. By now, we all know that Markle is famous for her role as Rachel Zane on Suits. However, did you know the Duchess of Cambridge has some acting experience herself, too? She performed in a school production of My Fair Lady at age 11. Maybe it's not the same level of acting experience as Markle, but we think it counts. 12. They both know how to rock a headpiece. Markle was in on headpiece fashion long before she knew her fate as a duchess. Once she's part of the British royal family, we're sure she'll be taking a tip or two from her sister-in-law on coordinating outfits with headpieces. Middleton always looks stunning when rocking the signature British look. 13. They love the same perfume line. Markle and Middleton don't just share a love of perfume they'd agree that Yo Malone is their favorite luxury perfumer. Her line includes scented candles and fragrances for about $60 per bottle. According to Good Joke No, Kate Middleton is said to have loved the luxury scents so much that she asked for Yo Malone's orange blossom candles to be lit all around Westminster Abbey when she married Prince William in 2011. Perfume is apparently high in the rankings of priority for Markle. She told Express, Fragrance is my favorite thing. So much so that if I leave the house and I don't put any on, I'll turn around and go back home. The only thing these two ladies disagree on is their preferred scents from the line. Markle's favorites include Wild Bluebell, Wood Sage, and Sea Swall Cologne, which are quite different from Middleton's preferred orange blossom. 14. They well educated in the arts. Middleton and Markle definitely relate on a creative level and their degrees prove it. While the Duchess of Cambridge attended the University of St. Andrews for Art History, 
Markle studied theater and international relations at Northwestern University. 15. They are advocates for women. Markle has been a devoted feminist since 1995. At only 11 years old, she was angered by a dishwashing liquid commercial claiming, women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. From the inspiration of her father, Markle wrote several heartfelt letters and managed to get the commercial changed to people all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. Markle has since become a voice of global gender equality for UN women in 2014 and constantly fights for women's rights. Although Middleton may not be a self-proclaimed feminist, she has proven to be an advocate for women. Since 2015, she's made numerous visits to all women's prisons to support inmates struggling with alcohol, drug addiction, and mental health problems, according to Daily Mail. Middleton has also visited the Nelson Trust Women's Center, which offers support to women struggling with emotional abuse, trauma, and addiction. E. News reported that Middleton spoke to staff at the center regarding prison in reach and social inclusion support, the sex worker outreach project, and rural outreach to young girls at risk. Markle and Middleton's similar values not only assure us that they'll be great friends, if they aren't already, but that Markle is on the path to becoming an inspirational duchess, just like Middleton.